we have a device that's going to revolutionize the way that RVers travel with their dogs. We've been traveling for the last six years with our dogs and we absolutely love being able to take them everywhere we go. The problem is sometimes we get to a campsite, whether it's on BLM land or whether it's in a campground, and the dogs just can't be dogs like we want them to be. They either need to be on a long leash, which then gets tangled up all over everything, or they get into trouble at a campsite, they find bones in a campfire, or they run off and they're around vehicles, which is not safe. So we're excited today to talk about the Halo Collar and how it is revolutionizing how RVers can travel with their dogs and know that their dogs are always safe when you get to the campsite. We've been using the Halo Collar for a couple months now and we've absolutely loved it. It has been a game changer for us as RVers. We love to camp, free camp, or just camp, disperse camp in general on BLM land, or just, you know, out in the woods. And our dogs are usually getting into, you know, other campers have less, left either trash, or they've left food, or they've left bones around. So this halo collar has literally, I mean, it has been amazing for us. So basically, you can set up a portable fence just using this collar. So the collar itself will go around the dog, just the dog's neck, just like any collar would. And it speaks to the dog by sound, by vibration, or an optional static discharge. And so what that means is that when the dog leaves the fence area, it will be warned um, or it will actually be kind of reprimanded, told you need to go back, you need to go to a safe place. One of the things that we really love about the Halo Collar is that it is smaller than a portable fence. I see a lot of RVers that they set up this very cumbersome metal portable fence around their RV site or around their campsite, and you have to have a place to store that. A lot of RVs don't have much storage, especially smaller RVs, and this negates that. All you need is this collar and your phone. You don't need the long leash, you don't need the big cumbersome metal fence that you have to set up every time you get to a site. You just go on your app and you set up the fence posts around your site and that will keep your dog safely in the area that you set up for them. So as your dog is wearing the halo collar and you get to a campsite, whether it's a formal campground or whether you're camping in the wild, you can then go on your phone and you set up the parameters of what you would like for your fence. The dogs will learn through the training process. They will learn where they can and cannot go. And when they get to where they cannot go, they'll be warned and they'll learn um, how to retreat. So if you do have a place that you go on a regular basis, maybe you're camping with friends and you go to the same place or you go out to their property, you can set that fence and save it. If you're like us and you're traveling around constantly and you're in new places constantly, you can get rid of the old fences and set up new fences. It's particularly important, like we have some of our favorite beaches that we like to camp in Baja, Mexico, but we don't always get to the same exact spot and so we just delete the old fence and you can create a new fence and it's really easy to do that on your on your phone. When you first start using the collar there is training involved. Um, if your dog has not been trained to use a training collar then you will need to teach them how this works. So basically they have to learn um, how the fence works. Um, once they get that down though even though you move to different sites they're gonna figure out where their boundaries are and they're gonna to learn to react to that sound. So basically you can train your dog to respond to the whistle and basically what you do is you teach them that when that whistle goes off, they need to return back to either you or the RV. And that's what we've done with our dogs so that they necessarily don't even need to get that static shock or that vibration feedback. They hear that whistle and they know they've reached the boundary of the fence and they always just turn around and come right back to us or the RV. And Halo Collar makes the training process super easy. Once you register your Halo Collar, you get access to um, the mobile app where all the training videos are there. And, and by the way, the training is developed in uh, coordination with Caesar Milan, who is obviously world famous for his handling of dogs. It's done in a positive reinforcement manner so the dogs don't become afraid of the collar, which can be the tendency with uh, other training collars, particularly the ones that have the shock mode. The dogs will learn in, in the very beginning, you'll put it on the dogs so that they learn to accept that this is a part of their life. It's not a punishment, um, it's a positive thing. So our dogs will actually look forward to when they see us break out the collar and, and put it on them because it's not a negative experience. And that's an important part about the training process with Halo Collar. Super easy to walk through the steps, but all the steps are teaching you how to be uh, positive with the dogs rather than 
uh, negative. Yeah, and on the app, there are very, very, there's a lot of videos that you can learn from. Um, it, it's very detailed and you'll learn a lot and your dog will learn a lot. So with this, so you're probably thinking, you know, I, oh, I have to use my phone. Do I need cell service? What if I'm camping in a spot where there is no service? Well, it does not need, technically need cell service to work because it, it just needs GPS signal. Um, and you can set up the fence. So basically if you're going to a spot, and you know where you're going to be, you can actually set up the fence beforehand before you even get there. A lot of travelers are traveling with Starlink now, so you can use that to also set up your fence when you get to a spot that does not have self-service. Um, but you do need to purchase a plan. Um, the good thing about Halo is that you can use any carrier. You don't have to buy a plan through uh, Verizon if you have an AT&T. Your plan could be with AT&T. It's not set to just one um, carrier. So you can use any of the carriers. You just purchase the plan through Halo Collar and it works through all the carriers, T-Mobile, Verizon, AT&T, Sprint. And again, even without that cell service, it's still gonna work. Um, you won't be able to go on your app, but the fence will still be active and it will still keep your dog safe even if you don't have any kind of cellular service. The Halo Collar will also last up to 20 hours on a charge, which is great. You, you will get into a routine as an RVer. You will uh, obviously keep track of how much power you're using. But when what we do is we charge our Halo Collars at night, and it doesn't take a whole lot of power. So the dogs wear them throughout the day, even though it lasts up to 20 hours. We'll take them off whenever they come in for the evening, and then we'll throw them right on the chargers. And what that will do is it will power them up, and then we get back into the routine. In the morning, we'll throw the collars back on the dogs and carry about through the day. So it's actually training us as well to develop these little rituals and routines. And again, it does not take a lot of power from your battery bank to charge these um, Halo Collar devices. Your Halo Collar will also come with a beacon. This is it. And this handy little, little device um, can be set to either ignore fences or it can be set to uh, basically um, provide a little fence to keep your dog away from like an area inside of your halo fence. So if you have like a fire pit that you think might have some trash in it, like inside your campsite, you can stick this near that fire pit and it will keep your dogs out of the fire pit. So you can actually inside of your app, you can change. It's like basically creates a little circle barrier um, and you can change how wide you want to make that barrier either from a couple feet to 5 to 10 or 15 feet as big as you want it or as small as you want it and it will keep your dogs out of that area. It's also great for if you have it set to ignore fences. You can have it in your RV so that you know whenever your dogs are inside no matter what they will never get reprimanded for being safe inside the RV. So if it just so happens that the GPS you know, might have had a hiccup and it's off slightly and the fence somehow, it sometimes happens, will sometimes move. Um, if your dog's inside and this is set to fence, ignore fences, your dog will be protected from being reprimanded while you're inside the RV, which is great. If you also have this set up to ignore fences, you can leave your fence on and you can leave the collar on your dog and you can walk with your dog with this halo beacon and you can walk through the fence or you can have it in your car and you can drive through the fence and leave the fence um, as long as you have this with you and your dog will not be corrected, which is another great, a great option a to great, carry one of these. Great way to go hiking off leash, but keeping the dogs within a certain radius of where you are. Of course, wherever you're allowed to take your dogs off leash if you were to go hiking. So there are competitors out there and the main competitor really lacks a lot of things that Halo Collar offers, which is why we love, love, love our Halo Collar. One of the things is price. A lot of people are concerned when they see the price of some of these devices, they're like, no way, I'll just tangle my dogs up in those long leads or I'll just let my dog wander and eat what it eats. And uh, trust us, we were like that before when we looked at the price of some of these things, we're like, yeah, we can put that off. But then we realized Halo Collar is half the price of the competitor, the main competitor and they offer so many more features. You can create smaller fences, for instance. So if you're in a campground, for instance, where you have the space to be able to develop a 30 foot by 30 foot fence, that is a heads up over the competitor because you have to have larger fence areas with some of the other devices that are out there. Or you can make the fence really large. If you're the only one out there camping, you can make it as large as you wanna make it. Halo Collar is also precise within one foot uh, using its GPS, whereas other competitors aren't that accurate. 
And that's important because you're training the dog to know its boundaries. And if the dog is constantly being um, told that it's outside of its boundaries when it just learned that it was inside its boundary, that's an issue. And so this accuracy is really important. Also, accuracy is important if you were, say, camping behind a road and you wanted to make sure that you kept the dog within 10 or 15 feet from the road. Well, you don't want to have a margin of error greater than that. And so Halo Collar allows you to design very accurate fences for your dogs so that you know that they're going to be safe. As long as you've trained them correctly and they understand the warnings that they get, they're not going to have the shifting fence or a fence that might overlap a road because you're not able to create a smaller fence. And we've touched on it already, but the fact that Halo Collar uses a universal carrier means you're not locked into using the one that's provided by the company that's providing this device. Halo Collar allows you to select the plan and it works with whatever mobile plan you might have. Um, there are other options too. There are three different options or three different levels of plans that you can choose that offer different features, um, which you're able to then customize that plan. Whereas working with the competitors, you're kind of stuck with the plan and the service provider that they're using for the cellular service. And that's something as an RVer in particular, it can be frustrating because there are places in North America in particular where you can go and be off grid and not have that particular cellular service provider, but you'll be frustrated to find out that other providers would work in that area. So Halo Collar is ahead of the game. They're leading the charge and making sure this is well thought out for our viewers and, and we're super stoked about all the advantages of using our halo collars with our dogs. We haven't found many cons when using the halo collar, but there are a couple that we would like to mention. As we've mentioned before, you do need to buy a, a subscription plan, a monthly subscription plan. And that's really one of the few negatives that we have found is that yes, you will need to buy or pay a monthly fee for your collar to work. But if you're like us and your dogs are family, obviously you're investing in their health. And this is one of those investments that you're putting in there. If you're buying the Halo Collar to begin with, the subscription is a tiny, tiny, tiny fraction of the initial investment. So it just becomes a part of your daily life that you have selected one of these plans. The other side of that and how you overcome that is that there are three different plans to choose from. So you don't necessarily have to have the top plan if uh, you don't think you need it. There are certain features where you're able to interact one-on-one -on -one for training and things like that with some of the higher plans. But if you feel comfortable and confident in being able to train the dogs without that extra support, you can go with one of the lower plans. So just because you have to have a subscription doesn't mean that it's a negative. It's just something you need to be aware of. We have noticed as well that sometimes the GPS will act up. Um, it, sometimes the fence will shift. Um, it usually doesn't shift very much, but sometimes it will shift and it will think the dog is outside of the fence and it will start to um, correct the dog or whistle at the dog. One way to overcome that is to use the beacon inside of your camper um, so that again will keep the dog protected by the fence. The fence will basically be non-existent when the dog is inside your camper. Another thing is that Halo Collar is new technology, but it is constantly improving and updating. Um, so feedback is going to Halo Collar as all of these um, as all the data is being presented to it, and they're constantly improving the accuracy, improving the precision of the fences and the way that the technology works. So they are on the ball when it comes to making sure that this is not an issue moving forward. And there's only one other negative that we have found is that the size of your site can limit how well that the fence works. If you're packed in like sardines in a campground, uh, you're not gonna be able to create that 30 foot by 30 foot fence, and that is definitely gonna be a limiting factor also, some campgrounds don't allow you to have dogs off leash, and so of course you need to be aware of that. Just because Halo Collar technology will allow you to create a fence, and you know that your dogs are going to stay within that fence, other campers nearby, and especially the campground owners, may not understand that, that that's how it works, and they may not trust that, and so obviously that, that can be a limiting factor as you're camping. Also, when you create a smaller fence size, you need to keep in mind that there is a boundary um, that Halo sets up when you make your fence. It is about 10 feet. So where you actually put the fence post when you're making the fence post on your phone, your, the boundary, the warning boundary for the dogs is going to be 10 feet off of that fence post that you install. So you need to keep that in mind um, when you are making a smaller fence for your dog. We've been RVing for six years on the road. We have our two dogs with us constantly. We're constantly trying to get out and explore and enjoy life. But as you know, as you're camping, a big part of camping is just 
relaxing being around your campsite and when you have dogs it's great to know that your dog's not going to run off that you can have conversations with your friends without constantly having to turn around and call for your dogs that they're not getting tangled up around you when you're sitting there by the fire or they're not getting tangled up around and each other and knocking your coffee or your drinks off the table <laughs> yeah these are these are things that we've experienced over the last six years of RVing with our dogs when we get to a campsite and and you just want to you just want to be able to enjoy it whether you're camping by the beach or you're in the mountains or the desert wherever you might be you're going to want to make sure that your dogs are safe and halo collar has done that for us so there's information in the description below for how you can get a discount if you want to purchase through our recommendation um, go ahead and do that get started this is going to be a better quality of life for you and for your dogs, it's gonna keep them safe while you're out camping and it's gonna be more peace of mind for you so you can enjoy the places that you travel.